So you're you're actively lobbying your congressman right now to support Israel. Correct. We're on Capitol Hill where APAC's annual conference is coming to a close. APAC, of course, is the powerful pro-Israel lobby group that works to shape U.S. policy in Israel's favor and to make sure that the military aid keeps flowing there. And it all comes to a close here where they bust in thousands of their supporters to do just that. Is what's good for Israel necessarily good for America? Absolutely. What about on specific foreign policy issues where the interests have not aligned, that Iran deal, for example? We have, we have to support the American president, whether it's right or wrong. But APAC spent $30 million on a campaign last year to defeat it. Right. The Israeli prime minister flew to Congress without the president knowing to try to get the Congress members against right. it. How do those interests align? They, they sometimes don't, it's true. When international law says that, si that settlements are a violation, do you think it's right for members of APAC to be lobbying their elected officials in the United States for something that is against America's well, stated position? Sometimes friends can have differences of opinion, and they're a sovereign nation. They make their own decisions. So obviously you're speaking of like the two-state solution type of thing, the different, the obviously like the Palestinians and the Israelis and all of the conflict. Sure, and the expansion of settlements on, right. you know, illegal Israeli settlements on Palestinian land. Illegal Israeli settlements, well. That's, that's what they are, I according mean, to international law. According to international law. Well, I would rather actually not comment on it. One thing I always do to Arabs when I'm in that land is I always ask them, I said, I said uh, if you could live in any country in the Middle East, where would you want to live? And they all tell me, 100%, I want to live in Israel. I like it here, I'm prospering here, I'm doing well. But, but they can't because they live under occupation. Is I, that something that comes up at all with your elected Yeah, we talk about it. But what do we say about the occupation? We don't consider it occupation. No, I've been there. But international seen, law considers it occupation. I, well, doesn't mean they're right. Do you think that it's important to address this, though, when you're talking about peace and when you're talking about Israel and America's no. interests? We're, we're, no. We have an American-Israeli uh, interest together uh, for peace. We want peace. But we also believe Israel is a sovereign nation, and they have a right to settle the peace issues themselves. And, I, and this would be like some other country coming here and telling us Americans how to solve our peace issue. Well, we some say that what Prime Minister Netanyahu did last year about the Iran deal was coming and telling America you should vote against it well, in defiance of the American it's president. It's a matter of opinion. But I understand what you're saying, but I don't agree with it.